Hi, it's Ben here from the Information Lab part of Cohort 15, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make a joy plot, also known as a bridge plot. So a joy plot is uh, overlapping error charts. This allows for a more compacted view of the data and can help spot peaks in the data perhaps easier than other charts. So let's get into Tableau and let's start building this. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to connect to a uh, sample superstore and I'm going to bring um, sales onto my rows and I'm going to bring order date onto my columns. I'm just going to change the order date to the month and I'm going to bring a region onto the colors. So in order to get that um, overlapping stack of the bar of the, um, the areas we need to um, have this as a polygon and we'll see the polygon makes it go a bit crazy so we need to make an adjustment in order to make the polygons look like uh, area charts so we're going to create a calculated field and we're going to call this uh, calculated field the um, sales multiplier and the calculation is going to be first equals zero then zero else if last equals zero then zero else the sum of sales this is essentially saying the first and last points of our data we're going to turn them into zeros and everything else we're going to have the sum of sales so what if i bring on the more sales modifier onto our rows now see we have that stacked um we have that um area chart configuration. So if I just change the opacity to make it a bit more see-through, it looks a bit better. So what we need to do now is we need to create another calculator field uh, to create that um, gap between the regions. And we can adjust the gap between the regions by creating a parameter. So I'm just going to call this parameter step. And I'm just going to have a range there, the minimum of 10, maximum of 1,000 in steps of 10. So let's um, create another calculated field. And this is going to be the calculated field which is going to drive the axis. So let's call this sales modifier axis. And this calculation is going to be, uh, so it's making that gap. So we're going to do 100. It's going to be an index. So that's going to be a different number for each region. And then we're going to change it by that step. So we just had that one as step one. And then once that gap's been made, we're then going to look at the actual trends. So we're going to have the sum we have that sales modifier. So if I hit OK and I bring the sales modifier axis over the sales modifier, you can see the view has changed. This is fine. We just need to update our table calculation. So if we go into edit table calculation, go to specific dimensions, check region, bring month of order date below region, and then we change the level to region. Okay, so now we have um, the the area charts as we want. Now we just can adjust the um, gap between them by adjusting our step parameter. So as I increase the step parameter, um, we increase that gap there. So let's have it at 160 and we've now created that um, plot as we needed. Um, what we notice is that we the numbers which currently sold are not our sales numbers. So we need to bring our sales onto our tooltip and we just adjust our tooltip to only say um, region, the month and our sales and we'd also need to hide the um, axis because that can be misleading. So now when we hover over certain points we'll see the actual sales numbers. It's important to note that the way that we constructed the first calculated field we made the first point and the last point zero so when we hover over, we'll see that the sales numbers, although will, although the sales numbers will say different things, they'll always be brought to zero. So this, uh, the first point here of the west is 3,000, and it looks like it's at zero. And the last point is actually uh, around 30,000, but again, it looks at zero. So it's, it's worthwhile noting that the first and last points do not show the data as accurately, but the rest of the peaks and trends of the data do.
I hope that you enjoyed the video. Um, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and check out uh, Sylvie's How to Build a Histogram video and all other videos that we have on the Information Lab channel.